Hi, let's start talking about the quadratic formula. Okay, so equations in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero can be solved by completing the square. So, you know, that's a way you can solve all the equations that do have a solution. So this can be simplified or summarized as what we call the quadratic formula. Now in your textbook they have the full proof of how they got from completing the square down to here. So you can see we've got x equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Okay, so we can use this all the time, okay, to get our solutions for x. Okay, so let's do a couple of examples. Okay, so here I've got my, okay, 7x squared minus 12x plus 2 equal to 0. All right. So I've got the formula there. So x equals to negative, negative 12 plus minus square root of negative 12 squared minus 4 times 7 times 2 divided by 2 times 7. Now, I'm writing that out, all out, so that you can see what I'm doing. And just to keep in mind that a lot of times people can forget these negatives, okay? So you've got to be careful with those. You must be careful with those. Okay, so x equals, obviously, negative times a negative is positive plus or minus square root, so 144. So negative four times seven times two, so four times two is eight, times seven is, so that's negative 56, divided by 14. So x equals plus, oops, 12 plus minus square root, 144 take 56, which is 88, divided by 14. Now, I could leave it there, but we can simplify all of this a bit more. And looking at this third, I can simplify that a bit as well. Um, I'll just take you through that process if you can't remember. Um, so x equals 12 plus minus. Now 88, that's 4 times 4 times 22. And you're always looking to see if there's a factor that's a perfect square. So here with 88, 4 is a factor and 4 is a perfect square. And that comes in handy when we're wanting to simplify it because, well, what's the square root of 4? 2. So that is 2 times by the square root of 22 divided by 14. And then I can simplify all of those. I can divide through by 2. So that's x equals to 6 plus minus square root of 22 divided by 7. So that means our two possible solutions of x are x equal to 6 plus square root of 22 all on 7 or x equals to 6 minus square root of 22 all on 7. Okay, 
Now let's look at this other one. So let's set this up. So this is x equal to negative, negative 5 plus minus square root negative 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times 7. Okay. Now, by the way, I, when I was in high school, one of my teachers put a little tail at the end of my third, just so I could see where the third ends. That's just why I do it. You don't have to. But when you're writing it, you've got to make sure it's clear where your um, square root ends. Okay, so that is 20, what am I saying? That's five, that's positive five plus minus square root 25 minus 28 over two. Now, I can't actually go any further, can I? Because that, is a negative. That's a negative. So what does it mean if I can't solve this? That means that there's no x-intercepts. So this graph, I'm not quite sure how it would look, but you know, something like that. It doesn't have any x-intercepts. So if it's negative under the um, third sign, you can't actually solve it, can you? Because you can't find the negative, you can't find the square root of a negative number without getting into complex numbers, which we don't. We'll talk more about that in a later topic called the discriminant. So yes, that's our quadratic formula.